G'day guys. In this video, I thought I'd do a uh, bushcraft chair. Um, I think this is the, uh, the best bushcraft chair that I've ever made. Um, it's not saying it's the best one out there. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot better ones, but um, it's different than most of the other bushcraft chairs that I've seen. So um, thanks for watching and uh, clicking on the video and I'll get straight into it. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to need, it's going to have three legs on it, this chair. So I've got three, three, um, three bits of wood here. Uh, in an ideal world they'd be nice and straight, but um, it's not always the way in the, in the bush. Especially the Australian bush, we don't get a lot of uh, straight timber. So um, you make do with what you got. Uh, with this chair, I know there's no um, hard and fast rules and measurements in the bush. But um, just as a general guideline for what I'm building here, to measure them, I'm going from the, uh, the center of the chest, or the center of the bottom of the rib cage, so where your rib cage comes up, I'm using that as a mark, so roughly to that height. So if you're taller, shorter, that was the, that's the height I'm sort of, sort of working with. Just trying to come up with a, uh, a uh, yeah, basic set of guidelines to um, help you guys reproduce this chair if you so desire. So I've got to cut these other um, these other two off to height. That one's a little bit shorter but it'll be alright. Um, this other one is uh, definitely definitely too tall so I'm gonna to have to cut that down. So I'll cut that off and then um, then the next step is to lash them together. So up near the top I'm just gonna to lash them all off and then um, then we'll spread them out into a tripod. So um, Probably all know how that works, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll do it and you can just watch it as I go. So I'll cut this one off and then um, get going with it. Just rotating it as I go. Keep that bit for later or for firewood. And I just want to measure that. So I'm just bring it up to the chest, just at the bottom of the rib cage there in the middle. Somewhere there. Alright, so now you've got the uh, three poles lashed together, you just spread them apart as you would with a um, traditional tripod, have a way you can manage to get them to go. Alright. Now with this chair, I'm not looking for them to be miles apart, because this is also going to form my, uh, my backrest. And it's not only that, it's also um, the support on your back, but the angle that you're going to be sitting. And you, if you get too far back, if you're reclining too far back in the seat, 
you'll end up with a sore neck because you're constantly having to hold your head up. So if you get more vertical, you keep your back more straight and you won't get a pain in your neck when you're sitting in the chair for a long time. Um, and it's, it's a smaller footprint too. Um, I'm going to have this down the shelter when I'm done with it. Um, just a bit of a furniture down there for me to sit in. So I can always cut these legs off if they're too long. Can't make them grow if they're too if they're too short. So, but that's looking all right like that. I'd say. Um, and the next thing we've got to do is put through the pieces. So the seat's actually going to be here. This will be your backrest. And um, I can always lash that. I might lash that a bit more tight at the top so it's not rolling around. Just because this one bit's not too straight. So it's tending to have a bit of a whoop in it. So fix them off. I'll tie that off a bit tighter. But then you'll have rails coming through. And they'll come through on the inside. So the inside of these poles. Um, and they'll get lashed off. So there and there there in the back one and the same on this side it'll come through and it'll sit on top of that one at the back and get lashed off and they'll be cut off to about this length and that'll form your basis of your seat um, you have cross pieces but I'm also going to have armrests on this chair so you know, you're sitting back and you want somewhere to sit your cuppa um, instead of having to put it on the ground and reach down all the time for you you can have it sitting up there and um, just a bit more comfort um, and you can hang things off the, um, the arm of it as well. Um, camera gear or whatever you want. Um, towels and stuff to dry. So um, yeah, I'll lash this top off a bit more. And then I'll cut these to length. And, um, and then lash them on. So they'll stick out about a foot. Now um, these pieces, um, going back to what I was saying before about giving you a general idea of the lengths of things that I'm doing here pieces I want for there, the measurement I've come up for them, is when you're standing up, I kind of have to change the camera so you can actually see me, let me just tilt this back a little, alright so when you're standing up, you sit this on your hip, you sit the pole on your hip, and then you reach out full extension of your arm, and where you're I'm not reaching out with my fingertips, just where my palm is, that's the sort of length I'm looking at. Um, so I'll need two of those for the for the um, the base of the seat, um, and then I'll need another three of that same length, which I'll explain what I need them for. So we're going to need five of them at that length. So if we cut five, and then um, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm working up here too because this is a <laughs> trying to find a bit of flat area. On this ground, I didn't want to do another video inside the shelter. Um, seems to be a lot of time I'm filming in there, and if it's not raining, I'd prefer to be outdoors. Um, so I'm up here. It's actually a game trail running through here. It's a bit of a flat area here. I don't know if the um, animals have been using it as a bit of a bedding area, but um, helps me out by having somewhere flat to work. So when I actually take this down the shelter, it won't be on an angle because I built it on a on a hill. So. All right, so got my um, five pieces cut, and uh, again they are measured from the hip out to the end of the palm as far as I can reach out. So I've got five the same length, and then I've selected the uh, thickest pieces I've got, which also happen to be the straightest pieces, which is good. So these will be the pieces that get lashed off on the inside of the tripod. So you'll be about that high, just over a foot off the ground. Um, but because I want to have an armrest on this chair, I'm going to do that first before I lash these off just so it's easier to, to work with. Um, I've cut these other pieces. This is That's how straight things are around here. So, um, But it'll look cool when I, um, when I finish the chair. So that's, that's one thing. So on this, um, this rail that's going to come out and it'll be lashed off there, I'll have all these um, other pieces sitting on top of that. So there'll be another rail on that side, and that'll form the uh, the seat that I'll you know, sit on there. So I'm going to have this vertical piece here for the armrest. So the armrest will be running through here. So I'm going to have this sat on the outside of this pole. So I have the 
this pole lashed off on the inside of the uh, tripod and then I have these upright pieces lashed off on the outside of that that piece and I want to run it through underneath it a bit and the reason for that is if I had it just lashed off like that when you uh, there's nothing to stop it racking so if you've got a piece on here it's only it's pivoting off this point it's just gonna swing backwards and forwards and it's gonna be real unstable and just yeah I wouldn't be happy with it put it that way so by running these through below it that then allows me after I've got the seat put together to stop this from moving I'll lash off a piece along the underside and onto the other side of that that um, of the chair and that'll prevent that from racking um, hopefully <laughs> um, so yeah so that's what I'm going to do and also with this I'm going to set it back from the end it's not going to be right on the end because I'm going to have rails running through then this will be there and then I'll have one more rail in front of it all right so I need it to be set back enough that I've got enough space there to lash another um, another rail in front of it So that's, um, that's how it's going to look. Lash that side off. Um, and this is the um, this other side piece. And you can see how I've just um, lashed that off onto there. That's the vertical piece you're going to have at the front. So it'll go in there, it'll sit on top of that rail at the back. And it'll get lashed off on the front there as well. And then you, um, you'll have your armrest come through here. And just get lashed off onto this this pole um, and then you're just going to have the pieces sitting along here and then you have a long piece lashed off underneath here which will stop this from wanting to twist um, I don't know how much it would twist anyway with it um, lashed off there and there but there's always the chance that it could twist on this on this piece here but by putting this other rail through underneath it prevents that happening also gives you a convenient little spot to to hang things so if you've got this by the fire you could uh, hang utensils on there um, a towel so you could drape a towel over there and let it dry by the fire while you're sitting in the chair um, at the back of it as well I'm leaving them long deliberately and then it gives me the option if I want I can um, make a little shelf at the back there I'll lash on a couple of pieces there to have somewhere at the back there again if I'm sitting by the fire I might want to sit a pot um, up off the ground. It might be raining or um, you know, it might be ants on the ground. So you can sit it up there while you're sitting in the chair. Um, or maybe you, um, you know, it might be raining outside or it might have rained and the ground's wet. You might be able to sit your bag up the back there. Um, but um, yeah, just a lot of different options. I've done the, um, on that one, which I'll do here, I've cut that little groove, like a curve piece out of there, and that just holds it in place, stops it sliding up and down. Um, when you've got the weight of you sitting on here, it's gonna be a tendency for it to slide down, so by cutting out a little notch for it to sit into, it 
tries to prevent that happening. Okay, so that's all lashed on there. Um, lashed it on there. It's um, reasonably sturdy, but it'll be more so once I put these um, rails in here. So, you know, obviously not gonna use this one with all these attached to it, because it'd be <laughs> quite an uncomfortable seat. However, I'm just gonna build it up with a number of them. Now at the beginning, if you remember, I, um, I cut five of these the same length. Um, I measured them off the hip out. So the idea was to give me enough length for those three. I've got two there, and then there'll be one underneath here, which will stop these from moving around. Um, and then there'll be one in front of it and one behind it. Um, obviously they're a bit longer than I need, but it's better to have them longer than shorter. Um, and once I've got those three lashed on, then it's just a matter of filling in the, the gap up to there and then I can try it out. If it's uncomfortable, I can, can um, or if it's leaning, leaning back too far, you can lash them on here, which brings that back out a bit, so you, you know. And then I've just got to lash these side pieces on. And then I've got my arms. My armrest will be like there. Australian hardwood, gotta love it. <laughs> For all you people in the Northern Hemisphere with pines, you don't know how easy you got it. You should come to Australia sometime and try uh, cutting up some of our wood. It's a little bit harder. Oh my goodness, that was a workout. Now you do it again. Hopefully this one's a little softer. Hopefully. Take these back over to the to the chair. Cut them to length. Right guys, while well, she's done, um, took a bit longer than I thought it would. It's um, almost dark now, but I'm uh, real happy with the way it turned out. Uh, flattened the armrests off there so I can sit a cup on there or a plate. And um, yeah, as I said at the beginning, I wanted to do something different than um, what I've already seen and done. So um, 
and just show you something else. And uh, so, um, yeah, hope you uh, found it um, informative. And if you didn't, well, thanks for sitting, sticking in there and watching anyway. So, um, till next time, um, thanks again for watching. I do really appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Show your support for what I'm doing here. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep pumping the videos out for you and um, keep trying to make interesting content, not just putting out a video for the sake of putting out a video, but I actually want to put out videos that you're going to sit back and enjoy watching. Um, so, um, yeah, until then, uh, yeah, see you around.